and welcome to this Gateway API video guide. My name is Angelica and today I will show you how you can receive SMS messages via Gateway API and then forward this information for use in Integromat. First, you need to get a virtual number. To do this, you have to be signed into your Gateway API account. And then from your dashboard, you go to subscriptions, then keywords numbers. Here you press get number. A menu is then opened where you can choose your country code. You also have to tell us what you need the number for. In this case, I want to use it for receiving messages for an Integromat webhook. Press request number and our support team will then process this request as soon as possible. Now, I already had a number before I recorded this tutorial, so I'll just press cancel. Once you've got a virtual number, you can find it here under shortcode. So go ahead and copy it and then you are ready for using it in Integromat. To see the messages you've received on your virtual number, go to traffic log, then MO incoming SMS, then you'll be able to see your messages here. I will now show you how to set up the webhook in Integromat. So in Integromat, you click the question mark, then webhooks and custom webhooks. Then you can add a new webhook and give it a name. I call mine MO Slack because I'll integrate with Slack for this example. Click save and then you'll see that a link is created here, which is our webhook. It works as a URL that is ready to receive the information we send to it. So you click here to copy the link and then you head back to gatewayapi.com. From here you go to webhooks and click add new. You give it a name and then you paste the webhook link that you just copied from Integromat. You now need to connect your virtual number to the webhook. Click the assign box in available keywords and then go to endpoint settings and click save. Now the system knows that all traffic to this virtual number must be forwarded to your webhook in Integromat. So now you go back to Integromat where your webhook is waiting to receive some information. To get it running, you send an SMS message to the webhook via your virtual number. So I just have to send an SMS message to my virtual number. So I type this message was sent to my virtual number. And once I've typed this, I send the message. And once I have done this, I go back to Integromat where it now says successfully determined here. This means that the Integromat webhook now knows what the incoming data look like. And if you go back to your traffic log in Gateway API, you can also see the message that you sent here. So what I'm going to do now is connect my webhook in Integromat to another platform. For this example, I have chosen to connect with Slack but several other use cases are possible, which means that you can use this integration for whatever your specific case is. To get it running, I click the Slack logo and click on the drop-down menu where I choose the option Select from the list. I click on the text box and start typing the content of my message, which will be New Message Received From. Then I click MSISDN, which is the number that has sent a message to my virtual number. I then click Message and select the channel that I want this message to appear in. Finally, I click OK. Now the webhook is all set, so I click Save and schedule it for running immediately. Once I have done this, I click run and the webhook will then start running. The last thing I need to do is to test my webhook. I do this by sending a new SMS message to my virtual number. So what I need to do now is send another message to my virtual number. But this time I'm going to type this message was sent to my virtual number again, since we're doing this again. And once I've done this, I click send and the SMS message is sent. Once I've done this, I go to traffic lock and MO incoming SMS. 
And as you can see, my SMS message appears here. And if I then go to the selected Slack channel, you will see that I have received a message from Integromat that states my virtual number and the content of the text. Success! My webhook is running exactly as I intended. That was it for this Gateway API video. If you have any questions, feedback or other things you'd like to share with us, feel free to let us know in a comment below. See you in the next video.